Yes, yes, Rascal and Disco Beer Review with me, Disco, coming at you with another beer video from in front of the cans and bottles here in the bar where I'm still exclusively calling the Disco Arms. Just a quick video for you here, just a quick unboxing video, as I've got a box here from Elusive Brewing, a brewery out of Finch Hampstead in Berkshire. It's been a bit elusive to me so far. I did have a couple of single cans uh, making up an order from a beer shop up north last year. Um, but actually getting anything direct out of them. I've had several times where I've had orders in the cart uh, and just in terms of cost, I do try and keep the cost down recently. Um, again, it's not a comment on the price of the beers. We know why the price is the price, but they've got a lot of good beers uh, going through their web shop and I just haven't been able to decide basically which ones not to get. Um, they're really well thought of in, in the industry. Uh, they do know their way around uh, hoppy beers uh, do like a lot of west coast uh, a lot of pale ales and inexplicably uh, big fans of black IPA not so much suiting my beers but they do also uh, I've had a couple of decent porters and stouts out of them as well and they do do some fairly uh, interesting ingenuitive uh, and well I suppose experimental kind of beers as well so uh, I finally managed to pull the trigger on order after spending Tuesday night uh, on Twitter, uh, as I do, using the hashtag Craft Beer Hour, which is a little movement run by a lovely guy called Tom at Craft Beer Hour. He's been doing it for a number of years. I've only seen it for the last probably a couple of years, certainly over lockdown, uh, where he did a lot of good work, uh, working with breweries to get names out. Did a monthly giveaway, uh, which is uh, sadly stopped now, obviously, can't climb it etc that's a bit harder uh elusive we're on board uh with that uh last week uh they used craft beer hour to announce the breweries involved in this year's collaboration series that they've started doing uh they call it collabageddon so they announced a few of the breweries i had some of them in so uh i did drink a couple of them on craft beer hour uh, the week before uh this week they announced the breweries uh and next week uh there'll be uh, involved again uh, announcing the pairings they pair up breweries uh, to do collaborations with um, so I thought it'd be a good idea to get some in uh, to drink along on Tuesday night with that hashtag craft beer hour whatever the rights and wrongs of Twitter I enjoy using it um, and this is one of the things that craft beer hour is good for is basically just finding new breweries uh, everybody uh, involved in it just post the beer that they're drinking up and down the country it's a good way of getting getting to know new breweries new beers that perhaps you wouldn't necessarily uh, get to know and i found uh, a lot of good breweries uh, in this way from tuesday nights on twitter uh so i put the order in uh and this is the box let's open up and see what we got and why let's say nice and dandy box with Logos on. That's the paperwork. Um, yep, yeah, nicely done, well packaged. Uh, what should we go for first? Uh, there we go. Let's go for the uh, Mosaic Pale Ale Four Percent called Mephisto. Uh, one of the other things I do like uh, some good can artwork and Elusive Bruin do do some excellent stuff. I've been looking to get into um, the business of hops in beer. So it's not always my favourite kind of thing when they have a heavy emphasis on hops. So I've been looking at some single hopped beers recently. So I thought I'd get this mosaic in and see uh, what I can get from that. See if I can learn a bit more about hop characteristics. And as I say, Elusive are uh, well thought of in the industry and do know their way around a hop profile from what I've seen. Uh, this one really interested me. Uh, again, some great artwork. Uh, Happy Land is called. It's a 4.8% cherry wheat beer. Uh, I'm, as you've probably seen recently, some of my videos quite uh, into adjuncts in beer, especially fruit, and uh, cherry is one of my favourites. A uh, lot of um, a video game references uh, that Elisa Brian use, and, and that kind of is. Uh, I'm not quite sure who the dog is. Uh, that's cherry, cherry wheat beer, happy land. 
Uh, I believe we've got a couple of those. Yep. That's what we did. Uh, another one looked really interesting to me, again, uh, with the fruit flavours. It's called Bermuda Triangle Holiday Home, a 4.2% pina colada pale ale. Quite a lot of flavours in that pina colada, pineapple, coconut, that sort of thing. Um, that, that, again, with some decent artwork. Bright colours attracted me to that. Got a couple of those in. Uh, then the big one, a... 10% Nexus Imperial Stout Raspberry Ruin Edition. Uh, as well you know, I do love a stout, Imperial Stout. Uh, again, a bit of Raspberry Edition works for me. Uh, compared to all the other ones, a much plainer can art on that one. Oh, that's going to stay. Uh, and finally, uh, as part of that collaboration series. One of the breweries is McColl's from up in the Northeast. A brewery I've featured before and do enjoy their stuff. This one, uh, I've been eye on this for a while, not quite got an order out of uh, McColl's for much the same uh, reason. Uh, oh, it's a collab with uh, Neptune Brewery. And this is their 5.1% Blood Moon Cherry Dunkelweizen. Uh, again, Donkey Rice, and being a darker beer is much more in line with my palate and flavour, especially with that addition of cherries. I thought it was quite unusual, um, possibly a bit strange, especially after this week when I was looking at additives in Hefeweizens to see the Donkey Rice. So I've had my eye on this for a while. Uh, McColl's recently changed their logo, uh, but that's a subject for. Another video, possibly. I'm never a massive fan of changing logos for the sake of it, and I'm not sure that I'm a fan of theirs, but we'll look at that another time. Um, but uh, I picked this one up from Elusive uh, because I wanted it and not got around to it. Got a couple of those. Um, yeah, 5.1% seems about right. Uh, so, yeah, just the eight beers for me, like I say, quite a small order. Uh, and I always find myself apologising for that. I feel I should get more, but again, I have to keep an eye out on the price. Not complain about the price. We know why that is. Um, but there we go. That's my uh, finally elusive uh, order from Elusive Brewing. Ordered it on Tuesday night. It arrived on Thursday for DPD. So I was very pleased with that service. Looking forward to cracking into these next week, uh, especially on Tuesday night under the hashtag Craft Beer Hour. Maybe see you there. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Have Elusive been Elusive for you or is it a new one? So until the next one, cheers and enjoy the bits. Mm -hmm.